I just finished watching Russian Doll, and there was a really interesting comment one of my writing teachers gave me. He was saying how there's something that happens in episode three that should have happened in episode one. Disclaimer, Russian Doll is one of my favorite Netflix shows I've seen this year, maybe for the past two years. So this is just a thought experiment or a note for aspiring writers, just something to think about. If you've seen this show, you'll know that the basic premise is she's constantly dying and coming back to life on the same day. It's basically Groundhog Day. So when my teacher said that, I had only watched the first episode. And even in the first episode, I was super hooked. The energy, the writing, the dialogue, the whole look and feel of the show was just really captivating. But I did notice that there's a big question of what's happening. And I could see how that it's possible that that might have lost me at a certain point, just because there are so many questions and nothing's being answered. It's really carrying the show through its character work. Again, back to what my teacher said, there's something at the end of episode three that should have been at the end of episode one. And I think Netflix is able to get away with this because they don't really care whether you see the next show or not, not as much as TV because there's no commercials, they have a subscription service, they know people are, are gonna binge anyways. But if this were a regular pilot, they would want to, to fit that story hook in the first episode. And that's something you have to think about as a writer. If you have this great idea that you just need your viewers or your readers to get to, and then they'll have their socks blown off, you don't want to have them wait for many episodes or a whole season to get to that. That awesome idea you have, this is just a general advice. Try to put that first season ending climax that you have, put that in episode one. In Breaking Bad, Walter White doesn't take a whole season to work up to making meth. He makes meth on that first episode. And now, just spoiler alert, in the end of the third episode of Russian Doll, we see that there's another person experiencing this. And if I had seen that in the first episode on TV, I would definitely have to watch the second episode. I would be so hooked because it would answer an initial question, but you could see the rough direction it was going. As is, as Russian Doll is, the first three episodes are so much fun, but there is just so many questions and it is a little repetitive if I had to give it a criticism. It's just a note for when you're writing and also to kind of show that the format is a little different, they have more flexibility. And honestly, I just wanted an excuse to talk about the show. This show is awesome. Natasha Leone is amazing. She's so good. She wrote and produced this show. If you look at her childhood and how she grew up, there's a lot of parallels with her own life and this character with just a lot of struggles with substance abuse, near-death experiences, not a healthy relationship with her mom. And these are the types of shows that Netflix needs to make more of. Just have that one visionary uh, make a show completely in her voice and it's so strong and it's so amazing and Yeah, I just thought it was an interesting thought experiment to see what a show I really liked could have done differently or could have done a little bit better But overall, I, I loved it. It's really good. And if you haven't seen it, check it out